Hi, this is a Ridge Runner, and uh, this is a Pine Home Primitive Skills tip for maintenance of traditional camping tools. Now, most of the tools that we use in traditional camping, of course, are more for the purposes of uh, you know feeling good about going out in the woods in the old-fashioned sort of a way. They're, they have wood and/or stacked leather handles. You know, we have these. Uh, you remember this knife from our low budget knives video and it has a stacked leather handle and you can see that leather is not in the best of shape and on the other hand we have our new and wonderful uh, Condor Nesmuk which also has a wooden handle and I'm going to see a couple other tools of the same variety and I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to maintain these things let's get started Here we have a number of outdoor tools. We have ourselves a Gurkha Kukri. And we have a very old and functional True Temper hatchet. Notice both of those have wooden handles. We've got my Sure Edge Butcher or Skinner, which both serves a kitchen duty and lives in my pack for camping in the woods. We have our wonderful stacked leather handle hunting knife uh, that comes from our low budget knives video and at the end of the day we also have our Condor Nesmuk. Now I started out with the Condor Nesmuk and realized that the thing was getting kind of dry and unfortunately the leather sheath that it sits into dries out the wood considerably. So one of the most important things to remember about wooden handles, they do require care. <coughs> steel knives also, the steel on the knives also require care, and we'll cover that in another video. But one of the best things that you can use to maintain this stuff, this wood, is this here. Boiled linseed oil. It doesn't happen, to, this, this one happens to be clean strip but any brand will do it as long as it's boiled linseed oil and you can use this on bare wood stocks like black powder rifle stocks and you can use it on wooden handles now let's go, let's treat something really old here and we're going to go after this old hatchet this stuff can be a little bit touchy and you don't want to get it all over the place because it smells kind of like fish Not terribly like fish, but if you were to wops it all over the place, and it might make a special odor. But you see, the thing is here, and I hope you can see it in this thing, doing the one-man band here again. Even this first application puts a beautiful sheen, and what this does is it re-oils the wood and makes the wood, and also adds a protective coating. Linseed oil is also used in paint to expand paint and make it so that it flows better. But for our purposes, this is the only thing you need on the wood. Look at that, how nice that is. That looks like a much nice, different, much different hatchet than the one before. The gentleman who owned this hatchet before me, a long time ago, was, a wood, was actually a professional woodsman himself. And he maintained his axes, obviously, with these. That's why this hatchet is still in business today. But it sat in an antique shop for a good long time, getting dried out in the sun. So, we want to apply as much of this stuff into this handle as we possibly can. Now, I'm only doing one side. Usually, I'd pour it all over the place and make sure it goes everywhere on, on the hand, hatchet handle. However, I'm showing you what an application does compared to the original. Now, that's dry. when that dries, it's actually going to be just a slightly bit less shiny than this is right here. Now let's flip it over. Now see how dull that is and how dry it is? I mean, that's with something that's been well maintained. If this had been a poorly maintained axe hand, hatchet handle, um, it would be in much worse condition. This is a well maintained for a long time. And uh, 
therefore it actually intends it actually has a chance of surviving this I'll do the other side quickly just to say I did it and we'll move on there we are now I've been working on this one for a while but whoever made this knife didn't put hardly any anything into the wood at all because it just soaks it right up and as I said before the the sheath that comes with it tends to soak up oil as well so uh, I've been putting a lot of oil and if you get one of these condor knives I highly recommend that you continually put oil on it for about a week to uh, linseed oil on it for about a week to get this to the point where the the, the handle will keep the water out because once once wood gets wet it expands and warps and gets water rattly on there and it'll rot and all kinds of other wonderful things you don't want to happen in the in the field now stack leather also a really good thing to use this stuff on and I'll show you what this looks like you can look at it here you can get your before and after right from this look at this all right let's get a little more oil on there shall we you notice I don't have any special application tools here. This is all real high-tech stuff. Put a nice coat of that linseed oil right on the on here. Now this I've never put anything on. So I'm here to tell you that I'm probably going to be putting a few coats on here to make it good. But if you've got an old stack leather handle and the old shellac that was originally on it's long worn off, you can maintain the stack leather with this linseed oil. Yes, this is pretty much an advertisement for linseed oil. Now, I'm going to go over something else. If you notice here a white spot, somebody borrowed my hatchet at camp last year, or year before last. You can still see the divot in there where they dropped another hatchet or some or a machete or whatever onto this handle. I was more than a little unhappy about it. And you saw me futzing with this in my hatchets and machetes and big knives video. When I, that's when I first noticed it as I was making the video. You can tell I was very happy about it. What I've done is I've sanded, easy, gently sanded until I've gotten most of that divot out. Now I'm linseed oiling specifically over that area there. Because if you leave that chip in there, what will happen is that chip will, be, will tend to split out across the grain. So even a properly, uh, a, a properly made axe handle will split across the grain. And the best way to keep yourself from doing that is it, to take a little bit of it off. And you want to sand it off. Also, if you find a chip in the edge of your knife, which I don't have any knives here with chips in them because I'm very good with this. But if you have, find a chip in the edge of your knife, you're going to need to do the same thing on either side. If you find dings or if you buy a knife used and you find dings in the top, sand that off. Use a sand, gentle sandpaper until you get that divot out of there because any kind of divot like that is going to add a weakness to the, add weakness to the blade. Now we got one more tool here that I'm going to linseed oil the handle on so you can see just what kind of tools you can actually maintain with this. This is my broadsword. This goes for the other stuff that I do as a member of the Teutonic Knights in Dagger Here Battle Games. And this is the sword I carry for ceremonial purposes. And you notice it, it too has a wooden handle on it. And the wooden handles on, uh, on these swords tend to dry out pretty quickly. You can see there's already starting to be some chippage there. And uh, so therefore, any even weapons of destruction such as this need to have the same sort of maintenance as your outdoor tools. Now, you look at that. Now, this is going to require again a few applications to come to a point where I'm going to be comfortable with it. Now, this is a fully battle ready, high carbon steel 12th century, 12th to 13th century broadsword. I think you can even find it up into the 1400s, or the 14th century. So, 
this blade right here again has the, the the wood will soak this 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 oil up and it'll keep it good now some other suggestions if you don't want to just use linseed oil all the time you can use carnauba wax which is this it's a you can get it as clear uh, car wax and rub that into the wood it also does a very good job I don't have any of it here but it does protect the wood too it wears off though when you use it if you're going to store it for a while it's not a bad way to maintain a, a maintain a tool well I hope this helps you a little bit in learning about oiling and maintaining the handles on your axes and other tools we'll cover a little bit more about this in volume two of the of axes long knives and machetes which is going to come up pretty shortly but I wanted to cover this with you so that you'd understand that if you get yourself one of these condor knives, which they all come with this kind of wood, that the, one of the things you've got to do to maintain it is to keep it oiled. Now I've actually put oil on the blade as well. It actually adds a coating to it, which isn't bad. And uh, the, this, the linseed oil coating anyway. And uh, I've done not, not much more and I've used this quite a lot in the kitchen and I've actually used it in the field a little bit now. Again, like the tool a lot. Well, this is the Ridge Runner with Pine Home Primitives and Primitive and Traditional Camping signing off.